Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through Daily Crypto News and Analysis, and today we're going to be talking about Casper. So with that being said, let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So as the market kind of does, you know, this major move today, we're really kind of watching for like the CPI report and stuff like that. I do believe that we will see some nice discounts across the board on some altcoins as we do kind of have volatile swings without, you know, within the market, uh, basically as we do kind of usher, you know, forward on into, you know, the later point of this month. Um, I think that a lot of these altcoins are set to have some nice lows being print, printed in. I've been focusing on the two to three cent zone exact for Casper. Um, I do have some buy you know, targets set. I've talked to you guys about those. I will be taking some heavy positions in on Casper as well as like HBAR and a few other altcoins. I did share with you guys a few um, positions that I did take. My... Um, major one that I did recently take, I, I told you guys a little bit about it. Uh, it was Chainlink. Now, obviously, we are down a little bit on Chainlink. I don't know where we are now in terms of the gains, um, but I know that a lot of the altcoins that we have been watching, you know, for the most part, have been doing some nice gains, especially on the seven day span. As you guys do see there, we have it Chainlink um, up 28% on the seven day span. Having a nice little sell-off event today after it did rally to about like nine dollars and fifty some cents. Um, it was pretty nice to see. Don't know exactly if we're going to come down and test some significant lows or anything like that. Um, but on the three-month span, you guys do see essentially where we are off of those nice lows. That's basically what I'm watching for uh, with a few other altcoins to see some nice spikes to have some sw uh, swing trade opportunities. But I definitely am looking to taking a heavy position in on Casper, um, especially with all of the updates that we have been seen so let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things so uh first off i take you back to october of 2021 this was october 26 2021 this is from ghost staking casper has an ecosystem similar to other layer one chains with offerings of nfts and DeFi on the horizon both major but with a major difference being a secure private side enterprise blockchain casper is a better relative value right now compared to bitcoin ethereum solana uh, avalanche now i do really want to talk to you guys about where we basically are at uh, with this. So, you know, back in October, we, we really didn't have, you know, much going on in terms of like announcements or anything like that. I'm sure that you guys are probably aware uh, that I was making Casper videos back, you know, in October. And uh, there wasn't really a ton of content. There wasn't a lot of updates happening. There wasn't really, you know, a ton of adoption. This has rapidly changed. When we talk about enterprise adoption within the DeFi and NFT scene, uh, Casper adoption has been growing. And DeFi is, you know, nearly here on Casper. In fact, uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a few things that did just recently go live on Casper. But honestly, Casper has been really kind of, you know, opening my eyes to, you know, where we basically are at with Casper. I don't know if you guys remember ADA. I don't know how, you know, early you guys were in this market or not. Um, but ADA... You know, compared to where we are at on Casper, uh, this is like basically buying ADA back when this thing was like, you know, two cents and so. Like this was during March of 2020, right? We came down to a roughly like almost two and a half cents. This is exactly why I'm telling you guys, I'm watching the two to three cent region on Casper. And also like even for those individuals that were buying at like 10 cents or so, Look at where we are at in terms of like 10 cents on, you know, ADA compared to the all time highs. This, in my opinion, is, you know, why I've always said like, you know, we could reach the four to seven dollar range. I mean, look at the circulating supply and total supply difference uh, within Casper to ADA and also the potential around Casper. I know that ADA has a ton of marketing behind it, um, but I really want you guys to understand like, you know, buying Casper around these ranges in terms of like the two to three cent zone. Is like buying ADA, you know, back here uh, before we went on this massive rally. So I'm definitely watching Casper closely. I think that this is, you know, an incredible opportunity, especially with the adoption and updates that we have been seeing being pushed. So let's actually kind of talk about that. So uh, first off, I share with you guys this diagram from uh, XX underscore 1133, 1221 underscore 11. Um, and this is the Casper Network, Casper Highway Consensus POS, mainnet genesis, layer one blockchain to accelerate enterprise and dev adoption, plus scalable, secure, decentralized uh, Turing complete platform plus permissionless mechanism. And this is a massive diagram. And let me actually open this in a new tab just so that we could really kind of see it um, in all of its glory. So 
this is also why I've talked to you guys a little bit about Casper and the you know light that I really kind of shine in on it. So first off, it really kind of starts with the Casper CBC specification. This goes through Casper, goes through WebAssembly, Turing Complete, all of that. Uh, we do see Proof of Stake, POS Consensus Highway, Casper, Mainnet Genesis, and this is basically a full breakdown on the advantages and things like that around Casper. And then of course you do see the Casper for businesses, developers, and users with all of the efficiencies around it. And uh, of course, you know, we do see the partnerships over here. There's a ton of partnerships, as you guys do see, in terms of like Plug and Play, Woodstock, uh, Magala, IPW, uh, CV Labs, Hashkey. You guys do see all of the other ones here as well, like, you know, even, you know, a few investors and stuff. Um, honestly, again, I always kind of share with you guys a little bit of the adoption that has been happening. Like, we pay attention to like IPW and stuff like that, but there's so many other use cases right now, especially, you know, ones that have just recently announced. We're going to be talking about it. Um, but you also do see exactly the utility around it, and then you also do see the adoption of this layer one. And again, I know that there's other layer ones out there that are also great. I'm not trying to say that Casper is going to be, you know, the the winner the clear winner the chosen one or anything like that but you get you can really kind of see the entire breakdown here uh within this diagram on how much you know of you know utility casper actually does have in it now again we have been seeing some major launches so first off casper holders it's finally here casper network mainnet is live now you can transfer back and forth between ethereum and casper for ethereum usdc usdt more networks including bsc avalanche phantom and moonbeam will be added in you know on the next week now of course this was back on june 4th but this is from dot oracle's cross chain bridge um, I've been telling you guys that when we look at the cross chain bridges and things like that happening within this market, these are actually crucial for adoption and also developer, um, you know, incentives and, th and things like that. This really kind of brings on um, a ton of adoption simply because of the interoperability that you have between bridge uh, be between chains with bridges. Uh, these are crucial. Um, I've always said that, like, you know, if you have a network that can't really kind of communicate, if you will, with other chains, there's really no point. So we really, you know, are, I would say that we should be bullish on use cases just like this in terms of like cross chain bridges and things like that, uh, because this does allow for a lot more transactional value and also adoption. Um, also, we did see her learn more about the NFT collection from Casper Army. So I shared with you guys a few, you know, images yesterday. Now they did announce their medium, ex uh, their medium, uh, forum on this. You guys can go check it out. Um, but I really just want to share with you guys the images here. So here's the NFT marketplace. Um, so yesterday I shared with you guys some low res photos, um, because I didn't really have any high res photos at the, at that point in time. I don't know if they seen the video and then they like, you know, posted these, but, um, these look great. I think that again, you know, the UI looks awesome. The art looks awesome. Um, and this is exactly what Casper needs in my opinion. I think that we need something, uh, where we have a lot more incentives towards like holders and, th and stuff like that. Like, you know, NFTs are a great way to really kind of bring on, a lot more adoption from the retail perspective and also i love the little bit of a you know kind of tease with the casper army marines and things like that this art actually looks very good i, I really do think that this art is uh, something special so very happy to see this uh very excited to see this actually launch as well um and then of course in terms of DeFi, yes DeFi is finally here on casper friendly market um finally went live uh we do see our friends we are live on main that the first decentralized exchange on casper network is officially here try it out um i'll actually open this just so that you guys can see it again you know the ui is pretty clean um let, let it load so here we have it um i talked to you guys a little bit about friendly market um early on um, and I'm really excited for this because of just how clean the entire, you know, design is. I also love like the little mascot that they have here. I just think that from a design perspective, like when we look at like, you know, forks of like Uniswap, for example, right? They all kind of look the same. Um, I think that this is awesome. In terms of like the swapping range, you can see the, like the chart over here and stuff. I think that this design is 
perfect for what it's trying to do and for what it is becoming. And uh, we do see the home of DeFi on Casper, your gateway to decentralized finance on the Casper network, giving you access to multiple products and one ecosystem. You guys do see the mission down here and stuff like that. Friendly swap as well. Um, NFT marketplace. Like I've talked to you guys about this use case before. Um, I'm very excited for this. I'm excited for all of it. And uh, we're finally seeing, you know, the main that go live. So this is awesome. DeFi. I just talked to you guys about DeFi in a Hedera video. Uh, DeFi is continuously growing. Um, you know, I think that as we really kind of look at, you know, this market and we look at like categories that are continuously growing in demand. First off, NFTs are coming to, you know, Casper. NFT, uh, the NFT market is always growing and it's always expanding. Um, I love NFTs. I, I just talked to you guys a little bit about how I'm making an NFT channel and I already did. It's top of the, you know, link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, you know, getting into that market is great for Casper, but also DeFi. DeFi is huge. Um, we've addressed how DeFi basically unlocks capital and unlocks value for a lot of these networks. Again, a lot of the top tier exchanges that we, or not exchanges, but assets that we talk about, like for example, like Chainlink, DeFi giant, um, Avalanche has done great things. Avi has done great things. Uniswap, you know, a lot of these DeFi tokens are um, doing incredible things and they continue to unlock value. And this market is always growing. Like the DeFi sector has been getting, you know, massively adopted for a very long time. So something like friendly market to come out with not only incredible graphics, I love the motion design and stuff like that. Like honestly, from a design perspective, this looks awesome. I love how clean it looks, how professional it looks. That's an, another thing about like Casper that I'm very happy about. You know, the use cases that are being built, the dApps are not just thrown together. Like all of these have, you know, quality assurance behind them. Like even if we look at like the Casper army um, in terms of like their marketplace, like look at how clean this looks and look at the quality around this. This is what we want to see. So, you know, I'm very excited for the future of Casper. I, I Again, I think that the price right now is at a perfect level. Again, we kind of compare it to like ADA. You kind of like there's really not a lot to kind of compare it to. Like, you know, I, I, I would, you know, compare it to like XRP and stuff. But, you know, I think that ADA is probably one of the most like perfect examples to really kind of compare it to. Um I, I, again, you know, I wasn't early in on ADA. I wasn't an early investor in on ADA. I didn't get in on ADA, you know, early enough. Um, I think I bought late. I think I was like maybe in at like 15 cents or so. Um, but, you know, Casper, I'm not missing the boat on. You know, I, I, I think that Casper is a perfect area to accumulate around this range. Um, if we do get down to like the two cent zone, it's a heavy ape for me. I, I mean, I'm telling you guys, like, the value that I see behind Casper is something special. Um, again, you know, you guys don't need to follow me. It's not financial advice or anything, but, you know, I just see the upside potential on Casper, you know, pretty significant, especially with what they have been doing lately. You guys watched my video from yesterday. I'm sure that you have. Um, that one, you know, I really kind of talked to you guys about a lot of the, you know, use cases going live. Things are rapidly, you know, picking up around the developer space around Casper. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.